Thanks for tuning in. I am Echo, and today I will be taking you through an evolution of AI video animation, space logic, being a big fan of the aliens fiction and Geiger art at the advent of this incredible tech, did not want to make trippy videos or just place a track and render a video making whatever. The first thing that came as an idea was to create animation with aliens specific to the Giger art style. Not crapping on AI music videos, Space Logic has made many, but to use the tech in creating animation and storytelling were priority in testing and experimenting with these new tools. So chapter one of Aliens Evolution series happened. At this time, Bossman used Kyber.ai. Creating animation was not the intended purpose for Kyber.ai, a stable diffusion video generative tool made as a web UI interfacing deforum.art based technology. Before we watch the chapter one video, the video has timestamps in description with me explaining which tools and craftsmanship was applied behind each episode's making. If you lovely people are still with me, let's roll the first video. <laughs> Self-destruct sequence activated. After the USM Auriga self-destructed on Earth's surface, and Betty barely made it, landing safely on a desolate desert. At least that's what it looked like. Ball shared her concerns about the military showing up after the crash. Ripley ate, still trying to gather her thoughts about Earth, and now that she is here, she is a stranger. They say, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Wayland Yutani never gave up searching for Ripley 8, and sitting idle was also something they never practiced. Their pursuit for developing the ultimate xenomorph specimen was the pretext to the end of humankind's rule on Earth. The year 2399 will usher a new beginning in military warfare for hybrid humanoid soldiers. Using the strengths of the xenomorph genes, while disregarding the likely hazards, Whale and Yutani Corporation would be creating the replacement of humankind. The engineers and now the humans will be the pioneers of their own annihilation. Ripley 8's time on Earth has not been easy. 18 years ago, she made it back. Even if it was as a clone of the original Ripley, she came back to a strange world. Gaul and Ripley 8 over time developed a mutual bond as allies, a union that would stand against Wayland Yutani and stop their advancements into xenomorph technology. They both knew one thing they will have to face Wayland Yutani Corporation head on one day.
wasting no time, that which they could get, and between hiding and relocating, from Wayland Yutani, Ripley 8 gave Xeno Biotech armor upgrades to Cole, while also developing Xenomorph Bio Skin armor for herself and the Resistance fighters, her ambitions will not go to waste because the fate of humanity was already knocking the gates of. But for them, Whale and Yutani Corporation came knocking first. And so, Destiny answered the door. Welcome back. So the AI video generative tech had its limitations to creating a lot many things incorrectly. Also, there were limits to AI voiceovers, hence Space Logic used what was there and made the best of it. But as we progress through the videos, everything and anything that was available as a tool in supporting this maniacal endeavor, Bossman used it to enhance and perfect his workflow. Not giving up to perfecting the alien xenomorph design, next video will show how quickly the tech evolved from the first one. Let's roll chapter two. Year 2385. Starting digital log. Wayland Yutani. Receive a signal, which was detected by a G class, deep space salvage vessel. Data showed the signal has been transmitting close to 280 years. The signal is not a distress call, and Wayland Yutani has not been bought out by Walmart. In fact, there is another Wayland synth running the show. I am sure he even kept his old face. Chris Bishop is waiting for our reports. The teams have found no other life forms down there, other than the one in cryosleep and... And the synth David, nothing is making any sense. Chris Bishop knows a lot more than he is letting us on about. We cannot help him if we can't even make sense of what we are looking at. Mr. Bishop, we are making our approach to the beacon coordinates. ETA to LZ is 20 minutes. Making our approach over the adjacent moon's surface is the only way to avoid the planet's magnetic storms. I am confident there will be no issues this way.
My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Alpha 1, 2, and 4 landing craft teams are all deployed. We need to get our gear and start moving on foot towards the structures. We all should converge on the area in 15 minutes. Copy that, Haley. That's Captain Briggins to you, Max. Really? We gonna go there? Pick up your shit and get a move on now. Pinky, get a move on. Yes, Haley, sorry my bad, Captain Briggins, ma'am. I don't hear anything except the air, Haley. Pinky, you ain't gonna be hearing anything if you keep calling me Haley. I am your captain. Respect her authority, Pinky. Like you, respect her panties, Maxie. Can you both just shut up? Jesus Christ, why did they team you assholes with me? Maybe because no one else would take you as captain on their team. So yes sir, you got me and Pinky. You also know we can handle if anything crazy happens. I think you got a better deal with us. Me Pinky, you, Maxie, she, Haley, I see enemy, I shooty, we are a teamy, you can't beaty. Maxie likey panties and now my song has endy. Pinky, okay, let's focus. We are getting close, we need to be sharp and on our guard. This planet ain't nothing like back home. This is Exploration Team Leader Brands. All teams check in. We have reached the main structure entrance. All teams checked in. Okay, we are all moving in together. Keep your guard up. Report anything and everything. Only the scientists are allowed to interact with anything alien. We are here to give them security and protection. We do our jobs. Everyone goes home. Let's make it happen, people. Team 2, Captain Lund. Reporting all calm and good so far. Team 4, Captain Jora. Reporting in, all scans show no life forms of any kind. Everything about this place makes no sense. Captain Jora, compose yourself. We are not here to make sense. We get paid to keep the research and science crew safe. This is Team 3, Captain Haley, er, Briggins. Team Leader Brands, we are entering an opening chamber like Hall. This is crazy. I see incredible alien murals and engravings on all the walls here. So this is where SpaceLogic used a web UI video generative tool called Neural Frames, which interfaces to Forum.art's video generative stable diffusion engine in a way like no other before. Full disclosure, Neural Frames is not sponsoring this video, but not to mention them by name would be a crime. Yes, a crime to the single best indie developer from Hamburg, Germany, a mad, mad, mad physicist called Nikolai Klemke. A one-man superpower running the whole platform by himself made a tool that simply put, placed the Deforum's beastly generative power into the hands of anyone and everyone. Things only get more interesting from here, but the next two chapters will be discussed in another video, so till then, you lovely people, this is Echo, your lovely host, signing out.